In this video, we're going to use 3D cell references to summarize the information from three different worksheets. And a 3D cell reference is a cell reference that refers to a cell or cells in other worksheets in the same worksheet in the same workbook. So I'm going to start out here. Um, I've already copied the um, fourth quarter worksheet and done the formatting that needed to be done just for the sake of time. I'm going to start out here in the total column and what I want to do is create a formula that will total the um, Boston figures for October, November, and December. So I'm going to use the sum function and I'm going to go up here to insert function and choose sum and the sum function dialog box pops in and in the number one um, text box here, I'm going to go to the October worksheet and for Boston I'm going to choose weeks one through four. Then I'm going to click in the number two argument and I'm going to go to the November worksheet and select Boston figures for weeks one through four. I'm going to click then in the number three um, argument and go to the December worksheet and select weeks one through four for Boston again. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So there's the formula and you can see up here that it shows the different ranges that I'm asking it to sum. So then I'll just copy this down and I'm finished with that. I'm going to show you now an alternative method to do 3D cell references in a formula. In column B here, we're going to calculate the weekly averages for Boston, Chicago, Dallas, and Seattle. So rather than using insert function, I'm just going to type my function out. I'm going to start out, of course, with equal and then average. So I'm going to find average in the list and double click on it. And I'm ready to go with my function arguments. So the first thing I'm going to do then is come down here and click on October. I'm going to point to December and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click. You'll notice now that it says October through December here. On the October worksheet, I'm going to go ahead and select weeks one, two, three, and four for Boston. And once I've done that, I'm finished with that particular um, function and I can go ahead and press enter. So there you see the answer and I'm just going to copy it down. Um, I can then apply an appropriate format, comma style, with no decimal places. So two different ways of doing 3D cell references. Um, doing it on the keyboard seems a lot simpler to me. However, if it helps you to have the dialog box or you're more visual, that might be a great way for you to go. So you can see there are a couple of different ways of approaching this particular type of function.